Yo, what's going on, guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. Brown Lake back again with another video, man. And today, I got my first official Moog Bang. Let me take this off right quick. I got my first official Moog Bang today, guys. So, I hope you guys are excited. I know y'all already know where I'm about to go uh, get my food from just by the title. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we about to do a McDonald's mukbang. You know what I'm saying? This is my first one. Uh, yeah, we're going to see how this go, man. You know what I'm saying? Just trying new ideas and new things. Just trying to find my way. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out what other content y'all like to see besides just my 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 dread journey you know what i'm saying like i don't know if y'all really like the reaction videos you know what i mean i don't know if you guys want more vlogs i don't know if you know what i mean like i don't i don't really know so it's just like i'm trying to figure it out you feel me so with that being said I'll holler at y'all in a second, man, when I pull up at McDonald's, bro. You feel me? <laughs> Let's go. Thanks for choosing me, Donald. Hello. Can I do two cheeseburgers, hot and spicy? And let me do two... Let me do one four piece nugget and a value fry. Any different sauce for that nugget? For the nugget? Yeah, let me do barbecue sauce though. Alright. Hey, how you doing? 737? What's up? Seven. Here you go. Hey, just to let y'all know, I don't, I don't really fuck with McDonald's, bro. I'm only doing this video for y'all. I really don't eat McDonald's, bro. I'm just letting y'all know that, like for real. Like I don't eat this, shit. so I know my stomach gonna be hurting this shit afterwards. Appreciate it. I know my stomach and shit gonna be hurting afterwards. You feel me? But I don't eat this shit. Damn, my brakes bad. Hey, bro. Don't try to be talking about my car in the comments, man. Don't be doing it. You feel me? What it do, my guy? What it do? What it do? What it do? My YouTube channel, bro. Ah, uh, they do YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you feel me? Right, you fine yeah. with your nature? Yeah, fool. Yeah, y'all look me up on YouTube. Y'all want to be on this one? McDonald's shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, y'all know what's going on. <laughs> Real Memphis shit, bro. Real shit, bro. Real yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. I'm finna do a I'm finna do a mook bang. I'm finna do one of the mook bang jumps right quick, so I'ma upload that jump later on tonight. Yes, sir. Yeah, Yeah, hey, niggas straight thugging. Niggas thugging at McDonald's, man. Y'all know what's going on. And I'm in the birds, bruh. <laughs> that shit crazy. What's your YouTube channel? Uh Broadway TV with three Y's. Yeah, 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 you know what's going on. Thief, I need to hurry over my fucking food, though. God damn, what's taking so long, my nigga? My shit better be hot and fresh, nigga. Y'all say y'all gonna watch the motherfucking video. I mean, two cheeseburgers. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all gonna be watching this motherfucker when I upload this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, man, you know what I mean? My shit better be fresh, man. Hot and fresh. Your dick! Y'all know what's going on, man. Quit playing on me, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Real shit, man. Real shit. Why the fuck my shit? I look like I got pussy lips. Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Yo, chill. Y'all need to chill out with all that, man. Y'all need to chill out with all that. Fun fact, I used to work at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of like the reason why I don't eat that shit because I used to work here. You know what I mean? So, 
Not at this specific location right here. I don't I don't know these folks. But they live as hell. My nigga banging hard as hell through the drive-thru. <laughs> Real Memphis shit. Real Memphis shit. I swear to God, bro. This shit crazy. Oh, man. Tell me. Catch you, my bro. Nah, I'm good, G. Appreciate it, my guy. Hey, man, y'all look out for that drama upload that John tonight. All right. All right, bro. So, like I said, we got the McDonald's movie bang, bro. You feel me? Damn, them folks gave me a large fry. Hey, don't fall fuck with me. And my shit hot, boy. Let's go. I'm all crunchy. Hey, shout out to McDonald's, man. Um, what's this right here? Damn, what is this right here? Oh, Winchester and Houston Levy, man. This shit, bro. Damn, these fries, fries, fuck. Hey, no cap. I did, I did smoke a blunt though before I came and did this. So this shit extra fire. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to y'all, bro. Make sure y'all go fuck with them folk. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, check this out. If y'all Come to this location, the McDonald's I just told you, Houston Levy and Winchester. Let them know Broadway sent you. If you from Memphis, you feel me? But yeah. Let's start off with the cheese, bro. So, fuck, I should have got some to drink. Fuck! Damn. I ain't get nothing to drink, y'all. Nothing. I got nothing to drink, and I got all this food. Can't do it, bro. I gotta get something to drink, bro. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do it. All right, y'all. I'm back. I went and got me something to drink. You know what I'm saying? My fries still hot. Yo. So. I want to. I want to talk to y'all about two things. Well, really, I don't want to talk about one. See, me, I'm the type of person where I have to learn to speak my mind. I'm a Libra. We really don't like confrontation, but that don't mean we some bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't no hoes now. Don't get Libra fucked up now. You know what I'm saying? But we just rather shit not have to go that way. You know what I mean? And I ain't gonna lie. This this coronavirus shit, COVID nineteen, I ain't feeling that shit, bro. I ain't feeling that shit no more, bro. Like, this how I feel. And a quick disclaimer for all y'all out there. I'm just giving my opinion. I'm not saying I'm right. 
I'm not saying I'm wrong. I'm just giving my opinion. I think it's bullshit. All right, scratch that. Let me start from here. I'm not saying the coronavirus is not real. Throughout this whole video, I want y'all to understand. I'm not saying, or I don't feel like the coronavirus is not real. I know it's real. But, and that's a big B-U-T, you feel me? I don't believe it's that serious. You know, I'm the type of person, bruh, where I've always been that person that don't really panic. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the type of person that can see through the bullshit. And another thing, excuse me for my language in this video, but this is just how I truly feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's start from right here. This is one thing I don't like about when, when things like this happen in the world. All right, so for one, at this very moment in time in life, Anybody that passes away, rest in peace. They're going to automatically put the coronavirus on their death. And to me, that really pisses me off, bro. Because people out here forgetting, like, what if that person, what about the people that was already sick before the coronavirus even came about? What about the people that was already in the hospital way before we went on lockdown? How come now that everybody that's passing away is because of COVID-19? I don't believe that, bro. Not only that, they said, when you look at the numbers, bro, it don't even really make sense. Look at them. Go look at the numbers, bro. Go look at the numbers, bro. If so many people are dying, as they claim, where are the funerals at? Where are, where are all the sad people at? Where are the families at that's losing all these people? To, quote unquote, the coronavirus. I just don't see how this virus is killing all these people yet I don't see nobody grieving once again granted you had people that were already sick already sick don't just blame their sickness on COVID-19. I've seen people say they didn't went to the hospital and took the test and they didn't have it and the doctor still recommended and suggested that they had it. It don't make sense.
It don't make sense, bro. Stop doing that. People are already sick before that. Since since this quarantine and shit, I've been able to go to work one day out of the week. And I just started doing that like three weeks ago. I ain't had a job. I I got laid off like around March 20 or something. I made the video about it. Y'all go watch it. I got laid off around that time. Because of this corona shit. It don't make sense, bro. Not to me. Not to me. I've been going to work. I've been in contact with other people. Not just coworkers, customers too. And I feel fine, bro. I feel fine. Then, another thing I don't like, if somebody has the coronavirus, like, remember how they was like, Donovan Mitchell has the coronavirus, you know, KD has the coronavirus, and you know, all these, you know, I'm just throwing out names. You know what I'm saying? Um, Rudy Gobert, you know what I'm saying? And all these people. Keep in mind, they also said, they also said that they was in quarantine and they got better and they feel better. Okay. All right. Now. What are people so afraid of? What are people so afraid of? Hold on. All right. What are people so afraid of? We're opening back up everything. Like, I, to me, I'm not understanding because even if we stay in the house another month, and come out then. What's changed? Because there's no cure. So, if there's no cure, and you letting everybody come back, so what was the point of this whole quarantine? Because if KD and all them has the coronavirus and then they got better, how did they get better? Just social distancing? Okay, I give you that. So we all been doing that. So what? Now it's gone? Whenever we come back out, it's quote unquote still going to be there. So what? You just not going to come out the house no more? You're not going to come out the house no more. What the fuck my barbecue sauce? Damn, I don't fucking forgot my barbecue sauce. I don't get it, bro. You got doctors out here telling us the numbers don't add up. The numbers don't add up. The deaths and all that, they don't add up. Those numbers are just to put fear in you. Y'all got to understand, man. You got to really open up your mind, bro, and see through it. It's something bigger than the coronavirus. The coronavirus is just a distraction. 
That's just a distraction. But it's something bigger than that. So what you gonna tell? Damn, the fool just ran over the curb. Crazy <laughs> people. What you gonna tell KD and Rudy go ban them? They can't. They can't be around people no more. Once the world open back up, people still gonna be around. What well, people just not gonna be around them? Ah, oh, bro, you had the coronavirus. I can't be around you. Ah, oh, bro, I feel better now. I'm good. Nah, bro, I can't be around you. You got the. You had the coronavirus, bro. How all of a sudden it just go away? How? You really got Donald Trump out here. Listen, y'all. Y'all really got Donald Trump out here. Telling folks to drink bleach. Inject their self with disinfectant. Come on, man. Need I say more? They got to be the dumbest thing ever, bro. And before I left the house, I seen... Something where it says, according to uh, the numbers, there's people up in New York, I believe. I believe, you know what I'm saying? I believe it was New York. I can't exactly remember right now. But I believe it was New York. And he said, according to what Donald Trump told people the other day about the drinking bleach, 30 people drunk bleach. Open your mind up, guys. Open your mind up. Once again, I'm not saying it's not real, but I don't think it's that serious. People like, it is that serious. They shut the whole world down. For what? So, people just out of nowhere just start. So, then it's another thing, bro. If the virus is that contagious, it don't matter where you go. It don't matter what you touch. You will have the coronavirus. If it's da more dangerous than the flu. That means whatever you touch, come in contact with, people, your pets, whatever, you got coronavirus. You got coronavirus. If it's that dangerous, you feel me? I just, I don't know, man. I'm ready to get back to my life. You know what I'm saying? I got big plans. I got a lot of shit to do, man. And to be honest, I really don't feel like the world gonna be the same once they let everybody out of quarantine. I just don't feel that way. Cause it's something bigger. You know what I'm saying?
y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel down below in the comments. Y'all got to, y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Got to, got to. Cause once again, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. This is my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's that serious, bro. So just keeping everybody in the house. Social distancing. It's people still out the house. <laughs> it's still people coming out the house. It's... If the coronavirus was that serious, listen to me, people. If it was that serious... Nothing will be open but food places. The grocery store. What you need gas for? Where you going? You know what I'm saying? If it was that serious, bro. If it's killing people like that, come on, bro. If it's killing people like that, like they saying it is with those numbers, bro. I would see a lot more grieving people out here. Not only that, if all these people dying, bro, and they saying, where are all the funerals at? If all these people dying like this, where are the funerals? Not only that, they say we can't be around nobody. So what, you just going to stop people from having, from putting their loved ones to rest? You think a motherfucker care about the coronavirus when they got to put their loved one to rest? Come on, man. Y'all, stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. If it, stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. No. So, that's just how I feel, bro. I'm finna go ahead and end this, this mook bang, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know, man, down below in the comments, how y'all feel, bro. How y'all feel about this? You know what I'm saying? Like, once again, and when we, when y'all come down in the comments, bro, let's, let's have a great discussion about it, man. Let's not be attacking each other, calling people stupid, and you don't know what you're talking about. Let's just discuss, you know what I'm saying? And see how everybody else feeling, because this is how I feel, bro. And like I said, I'm not right, I'm not wrong. I'm not saying that, you know what I'm saying? But that's just how I feel, that's my opinion. So, yeah. yeah. Anyways, guys, like I said, man, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, man, for more new content and dope videos from your boy Broadway. You know what I'm saying? Also, go stream and bump my new mixtape, The Off Season, out right now. Uh, the playlist is on my YouTube channel, so make sure y'all go check that out as well. But other than that, man, that's pretty much it in this video. I see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.